What's up, everybody? So we're going to be doing a little Let's Go Eevee. It's interesting because um, I've noticed that, and I'm sure that there's a ton of people streaming and making videos, and they're doing videos of Let's Go Eevee and stuff like that. But um, personally, I haven't seen a lot. I see a lot of people with Pikachu. So I thought I'd be a little different for sure. And... Uh, and yeah, and do a little uh, Let's Go Eevee. Now, Eevee's definitely not my favorite Pokemon, and I kind of wish that uh, they let us evolve it, right? But uh, I guess we'll check it out and see how it goes. Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. The world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. And if you want to know how people tend to interact with these Pokemon, well, some people keep them as companions, others have them do it for battle, and for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Now why don't you tell me about yourself? Ooh, okay. Alright, alright. Uh, let's go with... Can I change the hair or anything? I wonder if I can customize it all. Oh shoot. Alright, I'm gonna name him Sunny. I'm gonna name i I'm gonna name Eevee uh Sunny oh shoot, I already messed up. Uh Sunny Jr. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Shoot. Oh shoot, come on. There we go. Let's do it. Yes, my name is Sunny. Uh-oh, is this my rival? Oh, I know what the name of my rival is going to be. This boy here is your friend and your rival who has grown up right next door to you. What is his name now? His name's going to be Cloudy. <laughs> Let's do it. Cloudy. I don't know who gave me that suggestion, but kudos to them. Someone was like, you should name your rival Cloudy. And I'm like... No, they, they were like, wouldn't it be funny if you had a rival named Cloudy? And I'd be like, yeah, that would be hilarious. So here we go. My uh, dream has come true. It was cloudy, was it? Yep. Sunny versus cloudy. We got this. Hmm, I see his name is Cloudy. Sunny, my boy. Your very own Pokemon tale is about to unfold. Yes, a world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. So this video is going to be 100% unedited. It's just going to be some straight gameplay. Um, I will say that I'm pretty annoyed with the ability of not to be able to play with a Pro Controller. That really irritates me. I hate that I'm going to be playing with this single Joy-Con, but it is what it is. Um, I know that it looked like from what some of the things that I've seen is that it has the mechanics of... Uh, is that Pokemon Go or what, what was that app? I forget what the name was, but... Um, yeah, this already feels really awkward. I'm gonna have to try to get used to this. Up and Adam. Good morning, Sunny. What's going on? You've got one weird look on your face. Aw, oh, never mind that. I couldn't wait any longer, that's why I came to get you. Today's the final big day. We're finally gonna get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak and become real trainers. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give my rival a dark darker tone. Oh, but before we do. You read the emails I sent you yesterday, right? You better have. Check your computer if you didn't. I'm gonna book. I'm gonna book it to the Professor Oak's lab. So see you there. Wait, what? <laughs> Did he say for me to check emails? Hey, Sonny. So here's what you need to know as a trainer. Oh, okay. Am I not doing his voice anymore? <laughs> okay. Press the A button, and you can talk to all kinds of people. And if you tilt the control stick. Uh, the more you can run. Oh, really? I gotta tilt it? Plus, if you open up the main menu by pressing the X button, you can save your progress, too. Boy, I can't wait to get started. Can you, Cloudy? I guess I should have been using his voice. Actually, let's save it right now. So, yeah, I'm a little little, little frustrated to, to know I can't use a Pro Controller. And I sure as heck don't want to throw... Like I was saying, I think it uses the, mo the mechanics from that app, and I never played it, so... I'm going to be kind of annoyed. 
Off you go to Professor Oak's labs. Cloudy asked the professor to give you two... Wait, the two of you Pokemon on your own, didn't he? Word. All right, I'm not going to do voices for everybody. <laughs> uh, let's do this. All right, so I am completely fresh, 100% new. This video is dropping a little bit late. Um, but I have no idea where to go or what to do. So I have not really seen a lot of game. I've seen very little, just to kind of like sneak peek. Kind of see the combat and stuff, but like I haven't fully like figured it out. Well, my good Pidgey, thanks for the help. I think I understand you all a bit better now, thanks to this. Ah, uh, if it isn't sunny. Oh, of course. I promised to give you and Cloudy your Pokemon today, didn't I? Well, in that case, why don't we head over to... Who is that? Uh-oh. There's the little rascal. What's up? Oh, wait, what? Oh, I gotta try catching it? You encountered a wild Eevee. My, my, I surely wouldn't have expected an Eevee to appear around here. But since the opportunity has presented itself, why don't we practice some Pokemon catching? You just have to throw out your Pokeball and try to land it on a wild Pokemon for the chance to catch it. Hold your Joy-Con horizontally and point it straight at the screen. Really? With your Joy-Con pointing at the screen, press the A button to ready the Pokeball. Go. You can throw the Pokeball by waving your Joy-Con. Just don't forget your surroundings as you go. Waving the Joy-Con on your... Oh my lord. As to keep an eye on the rings as you throw the Pokemon, watch out for some Pokemon move. Bro, throw it! Throw it! Oh my. Yo, you guys are gonna watch some epic fail. Ugh. Throw? Throw? There we go. Alright, you caught an Eevee. That was a pretty fine performance for a first timer, my boy. <laughs> Why don't you pick up that Pokeball and give that Eevee you caught a name? Yeah, I am, Sunny Jr. What in the. Now that's a lively Pokemon if I ever see one. That, that can't happen. That's BS. Yo, I think I've seen like every episode of Pokemon. I may be like a season or two behind. So, I'm a big Pokemon fan. I even watched the cartoons as a very old 32-year-old man, so... <laughs> I love me some Pokemon. Professor Oak! Oh wait, it's Cloudy. These, those Pokeballs there, I swear, they were the only... They were only two a second ago, but now there are three. A perfectly, barish, perfectly reasonable reaction, my boy. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be Oak. You see, one of them is an Eevee that... Sunday caught just now. So wait, Sonny, you caught it by yourself? Caught it yourself? I can't, I gotta remember to do the voice. Why? I've never seen that happen before. Oh, 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 how interesting. Well, my boy, this is it. Take that poke ball and keep a good hold of, of it this time. Uh, I think it's trying to tell you oh I think it's trying to tell you you're going for the wrong one pal can I get that one <laughs> all right I want to evolve you, <laughs> little jerk. 
Eevee became your Pokemon. All right. Hmm, what a strange Pokemon indeed. It sure doesn't seem to like staying in one place. Well, it's like me in real life, but it looks like as though it's taking a shine to you. Sunny, why not give it a name? Yes, Sunny Jr. Yes. I don't usually ever actually nickname my Pokemon, like ever. I kind of like the way the show does it, where it just kind of gives them their regular name. So if it's like Bulbasaur Go, it's like, I kind of like that, so. But I'm going to make an exception for little Eevee here. I'm going to name it Sunny Jr. Sunny Jr. has been added to your party, all right. So when you see me catch Pokemon, I'm definitely going to um, just keep them the same name. Professor, I choose this one. Cloudy got a Pikachu from Professor Oak. <laughs> I keep reading when I shouldn't be. For a new trainer to catch their first Pokemon themselves, even if I've never seen such a thing. Well, I'm special, sir. Oops, my bad. I want to see what, what Mr. Cloudy... It's really cute. Pikachu is just what I wanted. Screw you, man. Let's go. Ah, uh, just one more thing. Now that you two are setting out as trainers, I'd like to ask your help with something. Take this with you on your journeys. What is that thing, Professor? This is a Pokedex that I've designed. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught, and it makes an entry for each. It's an extremely high-tech tool. Sunny and Cloudy, I want you each to take one with you. Got a Pokedex from Professor Oak. Wow, he handed us air. <laughs> You'll find you can get every detailed data of Pokemon just by seeing them. You must catch a Pokemon to gather the most completed data. To make a complete guide to all the Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm an old man now, too old to get the job done myself. That's why I want you young trainers to fill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. A Pokedex, huh? We're gonna meet so many Pokemon. This keeps getting better and better. I'm setting out right now. Sonny, you should do the same. If you think you're ready, that is. But bro, I just caught my first Pokemon. And it's never been done before. Without receiving one. So one thing I did notice that it seems like... Oh, it's my mom's. Oh, how cute. This is the one you got from the professor. What, you caught it yourself? That's amazing. What should you... What should I call your new friend? Sunny Jr. It's a lovely Pokemon. My, how energetic. I suppose that means you two will be setting off an adventure today, right? I thought this day might come soon, so I planned ahead and got this for you. Got a town map for Mom. You put it in your bag. By using that town map in your bag, you'll always know exactly where you are. Safe travels, dear. You, Sunny Jr., be good to each other. Word, Mom. All right, let's go. Oh, oh! All right, let's do it. Let's let's get into a fight. A bell sprout. Get rid of it. Wait, wait, no, wait. Oh, I gotta catch it. Oh, I can't battle it. All right. Ooh, my bad. Oh, am I gonna catch it? Ooh, nice. You caught a bell sprouts. New Pokemon first throw technique bonus. What's getting XP? Oh, Sunny Jr.'s getting XP just for catching? That's interesting. Uh check motion. What does that mean? Prefers hot and humid places. That's weird. I didn't get a prompt to uh I didn't get a prompt to um to nickname it. That's not an excellent? Hmm. Nice, Pidgey, Pidgey. Pidgey's data will be added. Very docile. If attacked, it will often kick up sand to protect itself rather than fight back. Pidgey has been. Oh, is that. Maybe I'm gonna try that check motion thing. 
All right, let's avoid. Let's avoid all these Pokemon. Wait. <laughs> I thought maybe that this Rattata was like part of the Pokemon trainer that was standing right there. Oh. Oh. Did I mess up or? How do you get those excellence? I'm still like not sure what I'm even doing. I'm just kind of like flipping my Joy-Con at the TV and hoping for the best. Sunny Jr. grew to level six. All right, quick attack. All right, that's cool. I am not going to be using these Pokemon, by the way. We'll chew on anything with its fangs. If you see one, you can be certain that the 40 more live in an area. That's funny. Bunch of haters. Wait, you're not a trainer? Oh, I wanted to fight. Ooh, that Pidgey appeared out of nowhere. Oops, my bad. Alright. Trainer? Train- oh. So I can't get, like, I can't get those random encounters anymore, huh? That's kind of cool. What's my... Po oh. What are you doing, Evie? Oh, huh? what? Sunny Jr. found something in the plants. What'd you find? A raspberry. All right. Cool. You're not a trainer, bro? Got a pretty sweet Pokemon with you. I'll bring along my favorite Pokemon later, so you better battle me when I do. Yeah, man, let's battle. Let's do it. Oh, man, I'm already in the town. So, I don't know. Should I talk to everybody? Hmm. I should. Yeah, I'm going to try to talk to everybody. Just because sometimes people have Pokemon trade and stuff. You might never know. Did you know there are actually two kinds of Caterpillar Pokemon? Yes, I did. Oh, then good. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Ah, uh, is this the Pokemart? Hey, you came from Pallet Town. You must know Professor Oak, right? I've got a little delivery for him, but I can't really leave the Pokemon Pokemart unattended right now. Can I get you to take this Professor Oak for me? Sure, sure. Thanks, kid. Say hi to the Professor Oak for me. Uh, yeah, sure. Is it gonna auto send me? Okay, cool. That works. I'm surprised they didn't make me run back, but I'll take it. Sunny, back so soon. I was little Evie doing. Hmm, hmm. Cool. <laughs> Goodness me, Evie here seems like it's really come to be a true partner to you, Sunny. I think you've got what it takes to become a great Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? You handed the professor his parcel? Oh, so my order arrived. Thank you for bringing it to me. Hey, Professor. Oh, it's about my Pikachu. Its moves are... Whoa, whoa, Sonny. That's so cool. My bad. I forgot the voice. Eevee just rides on you like that? <laughs> uh, okay, now we have Cloudy as well. What fine timing. Well, I've just been to deliver some very handy items, which I think I'll share with the two of you. Wait, I already got some of them berries, didn't I? Great, I've been starving. <laughs> like, yo, what's up with Cloudy? That's for the Pokemon, bro. I'll stop you right there, son. Those berries are for Pokemon to eat, not you. When you want to catch a Pokemon, try throwing one of those at your target before you take a Pokeball in your hand. You'll find that wild Pokemon will be so happy to have a berry to nibble that they'll become a much easier for you to catch. That was close. Oh, that was close. I nearly swallowed one of them right up myself. Now then, you two. It's up to you to decide if you want to catch lots of different Pokemon or simply focus on training. Uh, training up your favorites. My only quest is that you have fun either way. That's it. All right, let's go. Wait up. Come on, Sonny. You do know you can do more with Pokemon than just catch them, right? If you're a trainer, you can have Pokemon battles with other trainers, too. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Battle time. About time we battle. Let's do this. All 
Oh, dang. Hype. Oh. Sonny Jr. kick his ass. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Uh, hold on. 40 power. Alright. 40 power. Well, then hit him with a quick attack. Quick attack his butt. There we go. Ooh, what a jerk. Hit him with that quick attack. There we go, down. What, did I lose? Bro, you got killed. Oh jeez, there I went mouthing off like I knew everything. Then I lost, how embarrassing. I probably should have trained my Pokemon up a bit before trying to battle like that, huh? Let's battle again sometime. <laughs> Did you enjoy your first taste of battle, young Sonny? Your partner Eevee seemed to like it. That was fun. Alright, now we gotta walk our butts right back up. Oh, who's this lady? What a girl? Is that my mom? <laughs> Who is this? Oh, just look at Eevee. You two are already looking like great partners, and I've got a perfect little gift for such a great team. Here, take this. You've got sportswear from your friend's big sis. Your friend's big sister? <laughs> you put the sportswear in your clothes. What the heck is sportswear? Try putting that on Eevee. You can go on an adventure in matching clothes. Oh. Wait, what? I don't want to dress up, Eevee. Eevee can be naked. Wait, what's this? You can what? Play with Sunny Jr. You can pet Sunny Jr. by right, placing your hand on it and moving your hand. Press ZR or the A button to pet your pet the spot your hand is on. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry. What? What's what is what what is this? What what's going on? What the heck is this? <laughs> I don't like this. What? Uh, my joy con are you not working? Hello? Come. What? What? Hey. Hello? What? Uh, okay. What, what's this? Oh, this is dumb. I'm done. I quit. Get, get me out. <laughs> get me out. Get, 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 get me out. Seems like Evie wants to play. Don't forget to show it some love from time. No, that's all right. We're good. How do I? How do I? Oopsie! 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 How do I put the clothes on? Let me see how it looks. Uh, clothing trunk. Choose an outfit for Sunny Junior. All right. Uh, I thought I had like a. Yeah, I give it a sports cap. There you go. Sportswear. Looking great. Okay. Cool. I didn't see. Oh, it's got like a little. Oh, I see. All right. Oh, you still get hit the grass, right? Or no? Did the Pidgey run into me? Too bad I can't battle this thing. Well, yeah, I want to give up. Yo, so you can't. So the only way you could battle and train is by. Oh shoot! Don't run into me. Is uh, is battling other trainers? You can't really battle. I always kind of enjoyed battling wild Pokemon, but that's fine. It's going to be something to adjust to. Ooh, run. Run. No! Ooh, he's got a... Ooh, I'll battle you with my favorite Pokemon. He did say he was going to battle me. All right. You were challenged by Youngster Ronnie. Oh, he's got a little Rattata. All right. Let's do it. Get in there, Sunny Jr. Quick attack him. Quick attack, go! When are they gonna have this voice? <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be the next evolution. Eevee, quick attack, go! Yo, that's all that's missing from this series now. Just the the ability to voice commands. That'd be so awesome. Oh snap. 
Level seven, all right. Pidgey grew to level five. Pidgey learned gut. Yo, I'm not leveling those Pokemon. You're really strong. You got three Pokeballs. Wait, I got Pokeballs? Yo, what's, what's Cloudy doing? Huh? You look pretty pleased about something, Sonny. Oh, you beat another trainer. Good job. Well, since we're on the topic, the Pokemon you set into battle might have lost some HP or PP. <laughs> PP. You should take them to a Pokemon Center and get them healed up. Doesn't cost any money and doesn't take long at all, either. Just remember, heal up after battles. Yo, I like his backpack more than mine. Just for the record. Actually, I like his whole outfit more than mine. My, my outfit's too colorful. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Wait. Where did Eevee go? Oh, Eevee ran him back to his Pokeball? Alright. Cool. Cool. I'm wondering if I should still be catching Pokemon and then, like, releasing them just to get XP. I wonder if that's, like, a viable strat. Where's the Pokemon... Uh, is there no way for me to deposit Pokemon, or is that not a thing yet? If you catch Pokemon, they will be tucked away in a Pokebox. You have a Pokemon box in your bag, too, don't you? A Pokemon bag? What's he talking about? Open Pokebox. Remove from party. Remove from party? Oh, that's new. So we don't have the the machine anymore. We just kind of keep them in our quote-unquote box. Hmm. All right. That's different. That's different. Actually, we should save. Because it's 2018 and the game doesn't auto-save for us. <laughs> All right. There's a Pokemon Center in every town ahead. They charge no money, so don't be shy about healing your Pokemon. You know what? That girl's not gonna have a trade, right? You know what? I'm not gonna take a chance. If your Pokemon speed stat is higher than the Pokemon Pokemon speed, you'll still attack first. So, I wanna talk to mostly everybody just because I wanna make sure I'm not missing out on anybody that can do trades or anything. I am completely going into this game blind, not looking up anything, so I don't wanna miss anything. So, you're working on a Pokedex, and I'll give you a piece of advice. You do well to stock up on Pokeballs. At po Actually, that's the next thing I'm gonna do is grab a bunch of Pokeballs. What's this? Trainer school. Alright, let's go in here. I'm sure this will be a waste of my time as a Pokemon master. We're studying about the Pokemon types. Eevee's a normal type, doesn't have too many weaknesses, but it's weak against fighting type moves. You walk around with your Pokemon and let them battle, they'll grow and love you even more. Mm, Alright, let's go. I don't think the teacher's gonna have anything important to say. Anything I don't already know. I think I've played pretty much every generation. Um, yeah, I think I've played. I don't think I've missed a generation. I've played every Pokemon. That doesn't mean I've beaten every all of them. Because, I mean, this game's pretty old. The, the style of it is. And I just haven't beaten them all. Here to buy. Let's buy some Pokeballs. Uh, let's buy like 15 of these bad boys. I don't know if that's a good amount or not, but a premier ball, ooh. Nope, I'm good. All right, where are we going? I think there's a map, right? Let me look. Mm, if there's a map, I don't know how to access it. Ooh, is that like an Oddish? I already forgot all the Pokemon names. Back in the day, man, when this was on the regular Game Boy, um, I was a kid. I think I was like around 12 years old. But I think my Pokemon would be a bit too heavy for me. That's why I hit loot. Choose a Pokemon to take out of his Pokeball, and it will walk around with you. Oh, that's cool. Hmm, I don't think the Pokemon in your party would work. Different Pokemon. 
that's cool. Um, oh, is this a gym? I wonder who the gym leader is. Does it say? Viridian. Oh, Viridian's uh, Misty, right? Could be wrong. Uh, but back in the day, uh, I had beaten the original one and um, collected all one. I was totally into it. Ooh, we should catch this. <laughs> A wild caterpie. Ooh. Twenty-two, man, I'm getting a lot of XP. Didn't I get less XP for the battle than I did earlier? I think so. Hmm, can't go that way. I need cut, I'm assuming. Ooh, what was that? I heard something. Oh, was it the Caterpie? Oh, Rotata. No, don't run into it. I need to find out if... Let me see something. Let me check something out. So, I'll go to party. Can I tell him to, like, leave? Check summary. Move Pokemon. Let's say I wanted to move it. Oh, no. Actually, let's open up the box. Can I just dump the Pokemon? Can you leave? Can I kick you out of my... Remove from party? <laughs> okay. Move to party, send a professor. What would sending the professor do? Change markings? Huh. You used to be able to just dump the Pokemon. Just like... Leave altogether. I'm just wondering if like it's viable for me to catch Pokemon and then... Um... And then just kind of use that as a way to kind of build up my character. My character, my Pokemon, I should say. I came here with friends to catch some bugs. My pals are all itching to get some in Pokemon battles. The only thing... Why is he all blue? The only thing that I would probably want to do... It's tiny. What does it's tiny mean? Choose a berry from your bag to use it. Why? Why do I want to use a berry on this? Let's just see what happens. Let's, do, let's use a berry. Okay, let's try that again. I guess I'm kind of good at this. I keep getting these excellence. So I just caught another Caterpie. Kind of useless. Ah, uh, he's level 6. I see. Catch combo. Keep it, keep it up. What does that mean, catch combo? Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep Caterpie in my group. Why not? Hey, do you have a big Pikachu? No, I got an Eevee, yo. Why are you discriminating, lady? Why are you hating on Eevee? Last Joanna sent out Rattata. Let's do it. Quick attack, quick attack. Ooh, one-shotted. Critical hit. All right. 16 XP. See, I get more XP for catching Pokemon than I do in the battles. What's that about? Should I just, like... Catch nothing but Pokemon to level up my Eevee? I'm even getting Pokeballs for beating trainers. So is she just... Oh, what's this? Were they, like, fighting? <laughs> A wild Eevee. Alright, alright. Oh lord. <laughs> I hate how I have to press the A button to prompt it. Hmm. 
not a fan of this catching system at all. I kind of used to like the battling too. I hope they bring that back. I like battling and catching my Pokemon. It, it kind of gave like an element of... Um, just an element of strategy and like the ability to kind of fail if you didn't... If you didn't like do a good job, you know? So I kind of hope the next generations kind of... Kind of bring that back. Not a fan of this catching style. You are challenged by Buttcatcher Rick. Go, Sunny! Alright, he's down. Nine XP points? <laughs> Bro, I got no XP for that. Ooh, what's this? Three raspberries, alright. I'll take that. I'll take that. I definitely want to make sure I fight all the trainers here. Throwing ball, and then you can never have too many Pokeballs. That's that's probably true. I wonder why that one Pokemon was like lighting up blue. How do you know if a Bulbasaur? Hey, do you know if a Bulbasaur appear in this forest? Hey, no, that's a great question, lady. Do they? I want to catch it. You were challenged by Last Brittany. I don't know how to say that name, Nidoran. Yo, I, I gotta admit, I kinda like that. That whole... I hope they kinda keep the whole, keeping the Pokemon out of the Pokeball thing. I think that's kinda cool. Man, I am owning these people. I'm almost tempted to look up, uh, not that I will, but definitely got attempted to look up to see what Pokemon, if there's any rare Pokemon here. Definitely one of those people that likes kind of catching them rare Pokemon. Not the shinies and all that, but, you know, Kakuna, oh boy. Hopefully this Kakuna can attack me, because back in the day, these things, all they would do is harden, and I thought that was hilarious. Level 3. I'm not going to get any XP for this, watch. <laughs> well, I like that. When he did Harden, it was kind of a cool animation. Down. Huh? I've got no other Pokemon to battle with. <laughs> All you have is that Harden? Good luck, buddy. I feel like I'm seeing. Okay, never mind. What's this? What is that? Oh, <laughs> a wild Kakuna at level three, really? All right. See, I'm like, I'm really good at that. Wait, <laughs> it broke out. Crap. Well, I wasn't expecting it to break out. Oh wow. Yo, what's up, bro? You jerk. I know they could run away, I think. I, I think I saw that on his stream. What was that? Oh, that wasn't an excellent? Wow. What the? What is, like, what's going on with my throws? Why are they so off? Fourteen XP, alright. I'll take that. 
I'm gonna have to throw all these little dudes in my uh, my box. Ooh, don't run into that. We already got one of those. Do you know the trick for throwing a Pokeball? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Last Jocelyn. Oh, all right. I forgot the name of this one. Uh, is it in like a Pidgey? It's not a Pidgey. Oh, oh, it's just a Pidgey. Oh, I got all excited. I thought it was the evolved form of Pidgey. It just looks so big. Oh, Lord. A little too easy. The battle was right on target. Got three Pokeballs. A little. Th Whoa! Whoa! A Pikachu! Let's do it. Alright, let me throw a little candy at him. Here you go, sir. Uh. Alright, let's try throwing this. There we go. Excellent, baby. What more do I want? Give me this Pikachu. Yeah. That's awesome. You think... I'm wondering if that's like a rare Pokemon. Caterpie grew to level 7. Kakuna... Yo, that kind of shocked the heck out of me. I didn't think to see a... A Pikachu. Oh, dang. It's a... What is it called? Metapod. That's right. God, it's been so long. Metapod's data. Hardens its shell to protect itself. However, a large impact may cause it to pop out of its shell. Metapod learn harden. Alright, alright. You know, I might actually keep Metapod and Harden in my... in my thing. And then that way, um, I can just get their Pokedex info saved. But I do want to deposit some of these, right? Because I have... See, yeah, I have this. How about, can we... Yeah, move him. Or, no, 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 no. Remove him. Okay. Can we send his butt to Professor Oak? Send him. Yes. You got a message. Well, thank you for sending along Pokemon. That's it, thank you. You've earned some candy for all your help getting a Pokemon to study. Candies make your Pokemon stronger. A quick candy. Alright. Sent one Pokemon so far. You're a great aid to my work, Sunny. So, so do keep on sending me more Pokemon. Okay. Um, Pidgey. Metapod. Okay, we got the group that we want. Oh, so hold on. Let me... Can we take little Pikachu out? Actually, can we move? There we go. Uh, no, 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 no. Bear with me, because I'm trying to figure this out. What's this? Catching Pokemon? Oh, okay. How do I... Play with Sunny Jr.? Never! How do I take Pikachu out? Oh, here we go, yeah. Move Pikachu to number two. There we go! Look at that! Oh my. What? <laughs> That's weird, I didn't run into any of those. Ooh! He's all red. What does that mean? It's huge. What does that even mean? <laughs> okay. Stupid game.
I caught a huge Pidgey. 26 XP. See, I'm getting a bunch of XP just for catching Pokemon. It says the number you've caught is two. So what, you can just constantly catch Pokemon? Oh, he disappeared. Alright. I'm just catching Pokemon to kind of see what the whole huge and tiny stuff means. So I'm sure somebody will explain it to me at some point. Yo, these these dudes are so hard to catch. Oh no. Alright, let's try that again. Ooh, he ran away. That is the risk you run, I think. Yo, I don't see any other Pikachu. Ooh, shoot. I don't see any other Pikachus. Oh. <laughs> Can someone explain to me why that happens? Seriously. So I'm just catching these at this point for experience. Excellent throw, technique bonus, multiplier. Wow, you get a lot of XP just for catching them correctly. Kakuna grew to level 5. Alright. Pidgey grew to 4. Bug poison Pokemon. Alright. Ooh, nice. Hey, what happened to my Pikachu? I didn't see him in that little scene there. Bugcatcher Sammy. Alright, I think he's the last trainer in here. Hopefully I didn't miss any. Let's go, Eevee! This will be a one-shot. Oh, it wasn't a one-shot. Oh, we can tackle! <laughs> wow. There we go. Nice. Is that level 10? Sweet. Double kick. Oh, yeah, definitely. Forget an old move for sure. I don't like growl. I'm going to get rid of growl. I'll never use that. That's one thing I would like for this... Um, this game to evolve to get rid of the four moves and make it just double it. Give us like eight moves. Give it to us a little more complicated. We can handle it. You know, a lot of people who have been into Pokemon, like myself, we're older now. So, hey, what's up, man? What is what does that mean? It let out a yawn. Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? They can be chopped down with secret. Oh yeah, for sure. There's a high. There's a higher Pokemon CP is the higher its combat power. The higher CP is a value made up of various stats. Yeah, I don't know what that. Okay, CP. I have to pay attention to that. Ooh, we got more Pokemon. Should I just catch Pokemon just for what? For whatever. Send them to the, the, the professor. Oh my goodness, how was that not an excellent? Nice, nice. Technique bonus, 42 XP. Yeah, this is <laughs> it's a little strange to get experience and you're not really fighting anything. Kakuna, alright. Pidgey. Pidgey, wait. Oh, I got two Pidgeys. All 
Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go face Brock. Where's he at? Hey, nice. I was hoping we'd run into each other. You know there's a Pokemon gym up this way, right, Sonny? You can battle against the gym leader there, and he's seriously strong. <laughs> if you want to get stronger, you definitely got to try to take him on. <laughs> Eevee's ready. Oh, geez, Sonny Jr. You're ready for a good battle, too, huh? Who wouldn't be? All right, then. You're making me want to cheer you guys on, too. So take these. Wait, you're supposed to be my rival. You're not supposed to help me. I bought some for you with the prize money I've been earning in all my battles. Beat up gym leader, Sonny. And you can really call yourself a true trainer. Give it your best. What? What kind of rival encourages you? That's not a true rival. It should be like trying to tie my shoelaces together so I can trip, trip and fall. These aren't... There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here in Pooter City. They're all bug catchers and the like, you know, just hobbyists. But Brock at the Pooter City gym isn't like that. Not one bit. Cool. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Let's do it. So, for those who got Let's Go P or, uh, yeah, the Let's Go Pikachu, and they have a Pikachu as their main, that's got to be kind of harder to deal with. Thanks for waiting. Your Pokemon should be all better now. Hope to see you again. Yay. Oops. Pikachu seems interested in the Bell Sprout you just caught. Why does he care? <laughs> what? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon, huh? I'm on the phone. Scram. <laughs> oh, he's mean. As Brock, rock type Pokemon are weak to grass and water type moves. If you don't pay attention to the type matchups, you can't defeat the gym later. Oh, those those kids are playing a switch. <laughs> the Pooter City Special Crunchies are 500. You're limited to a package per day. Sure, I want one. Thanks. You got a bag of Pooter Crunchies. I don't know what I just bought, but all right. See, that's why you gotta like talk to everybody because you don't know which what what kind of secrets or or things are holding. Nidor and sit. Oops. Pikachu is staring at your face. We got a Pokemon. We got our Pokemon in the trades. That's finicky and hard to handle. Pokemon you get from trades grow faster, but they won't listen to a weak trainer in battle. Only has some gym badges. You know that whole like trading Pokemon and them getting more experience? I always thought it was a little kind of weird. I kind of think they need to do away with it. I'm one of those people that like will exploit those things. I'll trade from the very beginning, and but then that doesn't make it as fun. So I'm definitely not going to do it this run. Do you know what I'm doing? That's right. Anyone can tell just by looking. No, I don't know what you're doing, dude. <laughs> no, I'm spraying lure around to get wild Pokemon to come visit my flower beds. Okay. Cool story, bro. Cool story. Did you check out the museum already? Uh, no. Really? You have to absolutely go. Okay. Pewter stays, uh... So, I'm kind of thinking that I kind of want to... Um... Kind of train up my Pokemon a little more. And I think the only way to do that is to catch Pokemon, unfortunately. Uh, Museum of Science. I should probably go in there. I kind of don't want to explore, but I kind of should. Just because you don't know what kind of things you're missing out on. <laughs> 50 for kids? Alright. Uh, at least he doesn't charge for the Pokemon. Ooh, I want one of these. Kabutops. Should be grateful if I never did. I think I would get to see bones of a dragon. The bones of a dragon. Yo, there's a lot of dragon Pokemon. This month we're running a space exhibit. Mount Moon. Alright, alright. 
What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. I want an Eevee. It's so cute, Daddy. Could you please get one for me? Hey, I'll get you an Eevee soon. I promise. Oh, how are you gonna do that? You gonna go catch one? It's been a decade since mankind stood on the moon, and now we're following the dream of standing on that far away red planet. News about space always. I didn't miss that last part. So this was was a complete waste of my time. <laughs> There's nothing happening here. 3D hologram it has a title. Oh, I missed it. That's all right. I thought maybe there'd be some like hidden Pokeballs or something. Man, you ripped me off, bro. Give me my 50 back. Oh, it's a slow poke. What am I supposed to do with you, slow poke? You think you'd do me a favor? Sure. I want to go to the people, but my dear slow boy is just refusing bus. Keep an eye on me for a little while. Sure. In that case, please help your slow boy for a little while. What am I supposed to do with him? <laughs> slow poke is staring blankly ahead. Spend a relaxing time with Slowpoke. Yo, let's battle him. Thank you for keeping an eye on dear Slowpoke here. This is for your trouble. You got a big pearl from the lady. Sweet. I would love it if you kept an eye on Slowpoke again sometime. Yo, lady, you want to trade this? She walks with me, she sometimes finds items in the field. Oh. What'd you find, bro? A nanap berry. Nanap berry? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Don't mind me, boys. I'm eating some sour gummies. You got a better chance of catching Pokemon if you throw a Pokeball. And get him right in the center. But catching a Pokemon is never a sure thing. Pokemon learn new moves as they grow, but some moves must be learned by TMs. Alright, so... Have I explored mostly everything? I already talked to this guy, didn't I? Pewter City stays lovely and cool since it lies at the base of the mountain. Hmm... So where's the gym? I think I'm good to go. Oh, I said I was going to level a little bit, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. Oh, okay. I think you got the right stuff. Did you just take on Brock? Did he just bring me straight to the gym? That's funny. Okay. So I'm actually going to catch a couple Pokemon. Let's level the Pokemon a little bit. A little bit. I don't know what level... I want to say that back in the day they were like level 10. So in my mind, I want to try to get at least some of them a little higher. Yo, crap. It didn't like, I flicked it and it didn't work. Like on the first attempt. So that was a bad throw. I got this next one though. Right here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you get a, like a lot of XP for catching Pokemon. You get more than battling. That's crazy. I wonder why that is. So I'm just gonna go back into the forest actually, because there was some, we got that Pikachu. I don't know if that's like something that I can trade or something maybe. Oh, here we go. Does tiny mean it's harder to catch? Crap, I messed that throw up. Got him.
So I kind of want to get Sunny Jr. to level 12, but... I'm not sure if I'm doing this, if this is the way to go. Wait, did I just encou encounter a wild P Pidgey without actually running into it? So you can run into Pokemon without actually running into physical ones. Is that correct? Ooh, 36 XP. Yeah, you get more XP doing this than battles. That's crazy to me. I forget what level Pidgey... Uh, I know that the Caterpillars go at level 12, but I don't think I'm going to wait that long. Well, I want to try to get that Tiny. It's Tiny! Oh, what happened there? I don't know why uh, it just doesn't, like sometimes it just doesn't throw a direct throw. Oh, shoot. I didn't get excellent. Alright, let's see if I can get Eevee to 12. And then I'll go fight the gym leader. I've caught four of these now. <laughs> That's crazy that I found that Pikachu. I wonder if that's a normal occurrence. Okay, I ran into that. <laughs> Not on purpose, but... Oh, good. Stop moving! Oh, shoot! Pidgey grew to level 8. Alright. Yo, that Pidgey that I got, it's got a level, right? Or it got to evolve at some point. Ooh, look, I missed something. Allure. Cool. I wonder if I should just keep kind of getting, uh, keep going back up and down. Alright, here we go. A tiny. These seem to get more XP, but I could be wrong. Oh man, how did I not get excellent? Ooh, 48 XP. That was a lot. Yeah, it's kind of worth it to kind of, I think, get those tinies and the large ones. Ooh, another one. Doesn't look huge, but whatever. Oh man. I keep messing up the timing on these. Twenty-four. Oh, I didn't get as much XP. I wonder if, like, the height and all that stuff has anything to do with anything. It seems like the tiny ones have had more XP on them. Alright, we're getting there. 
Maybe he's almost 12. Pidgey grew to 9, alright. Mirror move. Yeah, mirror move is actually pretty decent. Who am I leveling? For some reason, I thought I was going to have to get rid of a move for mirror move, but... Ooh, is he? Oh, I know, a bell sprout popped out out of nowhere there at the end. I was just going to say, I just got a random encounter, but nope. That was totally by accident. I didn't mean to throw it like that. <laughs> How much XP did I get? Ooh, 33. Wow, so they really reward you for throwing those balls correctly. It seems like regardless of... of if it's huge or tiny or whatever. Oh my goodness, what was that? Oh jeez. Oh, shoot. Okay. My bad. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Okay. I ran into a Pidgey. It seems like my timing is better when I do the other Pokemon. When I get the little Caterpillars or whatever, the Caterpies, it's like my timing is almost always off on those. 26. All right, almost there. I think maybe one or two more Pokemon. We can go. Fa I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna clean up my box, and then I'm gonna go fight Brock. We want that tiny one. Oh my goodness! Wow, 40. There it is. Alright, there we go. Got him to 12. So I am going to leave. I'm going to clean up the box. Alright, let's do that. Bag. So we caught a bunch of useless Pokemon. <laughs> That's mean to say, but it's true. All right, uh, I'm gonna send to the professor. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Basically send everyone to the professor. I don't want nothing to do with them. Get rid of them. Yes. Hey, would you look at this? You sent me six Caterpie. I think you've earned yourself a reward. Oh, dang. I got a lot of candy. Do keep sending me more. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm going to send you one more, dude. Let's send you this one. Oh, it won't let me. Um, remove. Oh, it's because I got to remove him. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I guess I'll keep the rest for now. All right, uh, let's just go and heal the Pokemon up and let's do this Pokemon battle and then that'll be it for this video. So I guess my first impressions, um, oh shoot, don't run into that. I I'm liking the game for sure. Um, I think one of the complaints I did here was that the difficulty is not as good. Um, it's just not, the game's just not very challenging. Uh, and I'm definitely kind of seeing that. It kind of doesn't help that the Pokemon catching portion of this game, which is a huge part of it, is just literally throwing a ball. You don't you don't do any combat. And that was always something that was a little bit more difficult. Um, if there was like a rare Pokemon, they would make it to where it'd be harder to catch them. At least that's what I always felt. Um, I never really like looked up the mechanics to see if that was something confirmed. I'm sure the Pokemon experts out there would know, but... 
So it's definitely got that vibe of being pretty easy. Um, but it's it's been pretty enjoyable, surprisingly. Um, and I've been enjoying it. Uh, but let's let's do this first gym battle. Let's see how this goes. I gotta say for the record, I hate puzzles. Looks like there is no puzzle here. It's just a straight shot to Brock. Hiya, you're here to challenge the gym, aren't you? I'm not a trainer, but I can tell you if you're worthy of challenging the gym leader. Let's get started. The Pooters only allows trainers who know type matchups to enter. There are a few types that have advantages against the gym leader's rock type Pokemon, but for trainers who have never challenged the gym before, we have them either use grass or water type Pokemon. You have to show me a grass or water type Pokemon if you want to face the gym leader. Uh... Crap. You can find a good pot. <laughs> Alright. Well, here's the problem. <laughs> uh, can Professor Oak give me back a Pokemon? Alright. So we gotta go get a Bell Sprout. And here I was like, oh, I'm gonna so confident. I'm gonna go in there in my first gym and just knock him out. So I need to go get a Bell Sprout. Which, the Bell Sprouts were a little more rare. It was mostly bug Pokemon. Oh, that's a little frustrating. So we definitely need to target a bell sprout. I think I sent everything to Professor Oak. Okay, let's try avoiding as much as we can because we are trying to get a bell sprout. I do not see a bell sprout. Let me confirm. Let me check my bags. I'm gonna feel dumb if I do have one. I don't think I do though. I think I literally sent everyone and everything. Yep. Yeah, I don't have a bell sprout. Well, see, you guys, that's proof <laughs> that I went into this fresh. Ooh, a p oh, a Pikachu, another one. Another wild Pikachu. Let's do it. Oh my God! You know what? Hold on. Let me throw a candy at him. I just want to make sure I get this Pokemon because I don't know if there's trading. Or something. But just in case. Nice. Alright. Caught ourselves another Pikachu. That one we are going to keep in the box. For funsies. There's a bell sprout right here, so this this works out. Oh my lord! Okay. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. All right. Sweet. Pidgey's level 10. Is it going to evolve by chance? When does Pidgey evolve? It'd be nice to have that thing evolve. No? Man, it must be like level 12 or something. Ooh, ooh, crap. Ran right into that Weedle. I'm just going to catch it because I'm already in this. Homie's growling at me. All right. I think level 12, Kakuna and Harden. Level 2, like Butterfree and Beedrill, I think. And it's been a long time. All right, so now let me go play with the box. Oops, oops. We're going to send some of those Pokemon away. Um, okay, so this one we will remove from party. We're actually just gonna. Oh shoot! My bad. Let's grab that bell sprout. Add to party. For sure. And then we are going to send to the professor. And we'll send this one to the prof. Wait. No, we'll keep that. Or er, no, we send it to the professor. 
And yeah. I think you've earned yourself a reward. You know, I need to, um, I need to, so you send 20 Pokemon. You're doing a great work, Sunny. So keep on sending me more Pokemon. I need to, um, definitely keep the Pokemon. Well, we get, we'll see how it works, but I gotta stop sending the professor everything <laughs> and just kind of keep the Pokemon. Because I think, and maybe, oh, shoot. Dang, that is, that's not what I was trying. I'm just gonna run away. You want to give up? Yep, yeah, I give up. He was kind of high level too, level 8. I got kind of thrown off when I saw that Rattata and I wasn't paying attention. Alright, let's go. Alright, finally. Bellsprout. Head on in and aim to become a Pokemon champion. <laughs> All right. So, Eevee is going to be going up against rock types, which is not good. This is going to be an Eevee show. I don't plan to set on anybody else, so we'll see how this goes. Maybe double kick and put in some work. going to be a double kick game. Uh, it's a fighting move. 30 power. Alright, let's see how it works. Let's see how this goes. I didn't see level 7. We're, we're like way ahead here on level. There we go. She's only got one Pokemon. It's super effective. Oh, shoot. I didn't know fighting moves were super effective against rock type. You know, I think I saw a Pikachu on someone's stream with with double kick. Maybe that's how they got through this first part. Camper Liam, he's only got one Pokemon too. Another Geo dude. Alright. This is gonna probably be easy. go. Light years is in time. Alright. Is it Brock time already? Wow. No puzzle or anything. What up, Brock? So you're here. I'm Brock, Poodoo City's gym leader. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how rock hard my willpower is. <laughs> My Pokemon are all hard as rock and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock types. Haha, <laughs> you're gonna challenge me to you knowing that you'll lose? That's what a trainer honor demands, so be it. Show me your best. I think he's only got two, right? Yep. It's like the old school way, man. He's got a Geodude and an Onyx. Oh, so leveling was correct, because he's level 11, so I did the correct thing there. My guess is that this Geodude is going to have that move hardened, so I'm not going to be able to take him out. Tackle. Hang in there, Eevee. There we go. Critical hit, he's down. Pikachu's level 9, alright. Wants to learn what double kick? We got an old move. <laughs> that kind of cracks me up. That, may, that makes it easier for all the Pikachu. Back in the day, you had to face Brock. And you had to tackle Onyx and Geodude to death to beat them. <laughs> so they made it easier. Which I kind of disagree with. And see, I didn't know Eevee's moves, so it's possible that Eevee didn't have double kick either. But that's fine. Keep battling, baby. Eevee is a champ. Oh my, he's so big. Uh, 
Oh, he's not going down as easy. Rock throw. Oh, that's it? I just got boinked on the head with a rock throw? That's too funny. Super effective, all right. Ooh, 134 XP, nice. Level 13. Kakuna grew to 10 out of 9, okay. Metapod 10. Bellsprout. Oh, boy. Bellsprout. It seems I underestimated you. Oh, it's evolving now. Okay. Oh, that's right. It's not level 10. I thought it was level 10 or 12, but it's 10. No, this little guy is going to go into my box, but I wanted to just kind of get the Pokedex going of it. Your Metapod evolved into a Butterfree. All right. That's cool. That's awesome. Love it. Butterfree Learn Gust. That's awesome. As proof of your victory, take an official Pokemon Leech Bag, a Boulder Badge. You got a Boulder Badge from Brock. With a Boulder Badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you. Without question. Oh, and wait. Take this with you, too. You got Headbutt from Brock. If you use a TM or technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon the move with it. A team can be used as many times as you like. So use it on any Pokemon you want. It contains Headbutt. It deals damage to your Pokemon by ramming it with its head as hard as a rock. Alright. Some have their Pokemon, just like to raise them. I'm harder to work here to learn how to become a Pokemon breeder who helps raise Pokemon. You're, on, you're aiming to become a Pokemon trainer, right? You should challenge all the other gyms. All right. All right, so this was a good first session. I think I'm going to leave it here. Uh, probably the next time I do this, uh, I play this game. Oh, shoot. Oh, we got something going on here. Don't tell me you've got to be sunny, right? I am. That's amazing. <laughs> Blue, I'm blue. I heard from my gramps that the two new kids set out from Pallet Time to become trainers. Just like I once did, so I came back to check you out. I was thinking you might have some advice on how to beat the gym from an expert trainer like me. But looks like I showed up too late. Huh? It seems like you're not too shabby yourself, so I guess you earned a reward, newbie. Oh, who's this guy? They'll be even better for catching Pokemon than plain old Pokeballs. Hey, and that thing you've got there, that's a Pokedex, right? So Gramps finally went and made one. He used to make me just a scribble on a map with a pencil about where I encountered Pokemon. You better do a good job of helping him out. He may be Professor Oak to you, and sure, he's an old coot, but he's still my gram. Smell you later, newbie. Huh, <laughs> this guy's a jerk. All right, but yeah, uh, this has been a lot of fun. I've actually enjoyed this quite a bit. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess my final thoughts are it's, it's a fun game. Um, they way, they did make it way too easy because they even gave you the move double kick and I guess if you have a Pikachu you'll get double kick so I'm a little iffy on that they shouldn't have made it it's so easy um, but we'll see how the rest of this goes um, the next time I'll probably be doing any gameplays of these will be on a stream I'll just be live streaming this uh, maybe do um, Twitch or YouTube one of the two but if you sat through this video at all I uh, definitely appreciate it, and um, and yeah, and that's going to be it for me. Thanks, guys, and you guys have a good week, good weekend, good Thanksgiving, whatever the case may be, whenever you're watching this, and take care.